Hey there, this is Andrew with ADS, and today just a quick short story uh, to kind of, you know, fill you in on where I am with my Scotland book, which I've been writing since the new year at the urging of a client. And right now I'm actually up to 21,000 words. So by tonight, I hope to get to 25,000. So this is my writer mode. I'm like cozy, it's rainy, it's cold. And I thought I'd jump on here to share this quick story with you. Um, these blankets actually came from Scotland. This beautiful like tweedy thing is lovely. And this heavy furry thing I also got in Scotland. I super love it. It's like my faux navy blue bearish thing. <laughs> Definitely not real. <laughs> in any case, so um, these were blankets that I got there. Um, this one was just for decor. So one night, um, I was out and about in Scotland and I, my flat, which is your apartment, um, came pre-furnished so I didn't have to worry about bringing or getting furniture while I was there. It was, it already had its own furniture. I just needed to get, um, a cup. I didn't have to, but I need a place to feel like home. So, um, they have a TK Maxx there, which is um, their version of TJ Maxx. There was like a brand issue there, so they had to call it TK Maxx in the UK. <laughs> and so, um, so I went there one night and got all this stuff. First of all, all the stores shut down mega early. So I was running around like a mad woman because I was like, what the world? Everything was like shutting down early. So the stores, typically would close at six. I think their late night was a Thursday, which was at seven, you know, so no wonder people were like beelining out of work at 4.30 because they had to get everything done before the stores closed. <laughs> and the reason the stores closed so early is because they were people too. And they were like, we gotta go home and eat dinner too. <laughs> which is such a foreign concept in America. We're like, but how will I do my shopping? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so um, when I first got to this flat, I didn't know, I mean, I purposefully chose what I thought was a romantically old flat and it's just gorgeous in Glasgow and it was right off this, this street called Royal Terrace, which I thought was even more princessy and, you know, it was just satisfying my own internal princess loves. And right off of Kelvin Grove Park, which was also dreamy. And so um, when I got to that flat, I didn't realize, you know, because it's an older, it's an older building. I didn't realize that um, it had not really been lived in since March of the previous year. And so they don't have modern HVAC, HVAC systems like we do here. Um, everything is like this old, you know, kind of pipey heater system like you might see um, in the Northeast here. There's like old pipes, like it's this old white thing, heater. And they people hung everything off of that. They dry, dry clothes off that thing. Like <laughs> it was everything. It was the heat and the dryer and everything. And so, um, yeah, because we only had a washer, not a dryer not a dryer just a washer so you literally had to like get a drying rack and put it next to the heater and that's how you dried your clothes for a year i did that i can't believe that still <laughs> and so in any case um if you don't know this i was there on expat duty so i was there doing work for a global manufacturer and i was handling their branding for like 17 countries and 70 different brand ambassadors it was awesome 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 Okay, and so because the heater system hadn't been used in a while, and I'm so not using those systems, it had like air in it. It had air in the system and it wouldn't turn on at all. And I thought it was just user error because I, I can mess things up. And I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm obviously doing this wrong. I don't even know how to turn the heater on. And it's freezing in Glasgow, it's cold. In the winter time when i got there in november i mean it was really freezing and i was like geez man i can't figure out this i can't figure out this heater thing it was cold at night i was literally freezing at night i couldn't even sleep because i was so cold which makes me feel like you know uh, it gave me real sympathy and empathy for our homeless who have to deal with that stuff and in scotland there were there were no homeless on the streets and no, everybody had a place to sleep because you could not survive that cold weather. 
So um, very different. So yeah, I I was like, geez, and I was trying to talk to the you know the flat complex people or whatever, the apartment complex people. You know, I need someone to come out here and fix this. I don't know what's happening, but I can't sleep like this. Like I'm freezing, my toes are freezing. They're ice blocks every night. Like my body is turning into an ice block an ice box every night and so um and i ended up buying this huge thing this heavy heavy blanket and it is very warm and so like this is how i survived a couple nights in scotland while they were trying to fix my stuff and after a guy finally came out there like it sounded like pots and pans banging together like all night for several nights while this system was getting all the air out of its system i mean i was scared to death like it's <laughs> the first couple nights i was like somebody's breaking in you know <laughs> it was just so like loud knocking noises through this system trying to get the old air out of it and work again you know so Oh, I will never forget those nights. So um, these blankets like saved my life in Scotland and um, to finish the shopping story. So I was out there like one night getting all this cute decor and literally running around like a mad woman um, trying to get everything. And, you know, I didn't have a car allowance in Scotland and I was, you know, that didn't come with my package. And I asked about that before I went over there and they were like, you know, the people who were who were hiring me for that role they were like yeah well the public transportation here is really good and everybody uses it like lots of your coworkers will be using it lots of your colleagues and it's very good and very nice and you know reliable like lots of professionals use it like everyone does uh, but she was like you know so try it and if you really don't like it we do have some company cars you could look at using uh, but then I found out that the company cars have three problems. One, <laughs> number one, they are all like on the other. First of all, you do know they drive on the other side of the road. And in the car, you drive in the other side of the car. I can't tell you like how many times I got in the driver's side of my friend's car thinking I'm getting in the passenger's side and it's their, their side. <laughs> and it never fails. They always laugh at me every time. Like, oh, silly American. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, you know, wrong side of, um, let me not say wrong, the other side of the road, the other side of the car that we're used to, and stick or manual as they called it, it was a stick shift. And I had only driven automatics my whole life. So my whole driving life. And I was like, yeah, that's just too much new stuff going on. Other side of the car, other side of the road, stick shift. Yes, yeah, I'm that's a accident waiting to happen for me. <laughs> so I said, let me give this public transportation a try. So another day I'll tell you my public transportation stories, but this is every time I pull out these nice blankets and, you know, warm myself up with them. I'm reminded of those frigid nights in Scotland before my heater worked, um, you know, and these things like saved my life. Like they got me through it. So <laughs> until the, until it finally got fixed and those knocking noises stopped, thank God. So anyway, that's my random stories about heaters and such in Scotland. Um, if you would like to be a part of the journey of writing this book about Scotland and what it was like and really how it changed my life, um, I would love for you to join me in this journey. I, I would love feedback. I'm not a writer like that. I'm only doing this because I really wanted to and a client super pushed me. They were like, you got to do this right now. Start it right now. Um, and it's true every year that, you know, I'm, I've been away from Scotland. I remember that I keep forgetting things. So it's very critical, you know, times of the essence to get this out of my head and on paper. So I'm, I won't keep forgetting more and more details. So if you want to stay abreast of the journey, apprised of the journey, then I will link to um, an email sign up list below so you can keep up to date and you'll just get occasional um, excerpts, you know, that I want to share with you and get your feedback on short stories like this. Um, eventually I'll probably ask you for your feedback on the title of the book and the cover art. You can help me like vote on it or something. And so I really want like people's feedback because again, you know, it's my first time doing it, but I want to make it, 
um, an enjoyable and fun read for you. Um, and I hope you get as much out of it as I did in that journey. So, all right, that is it for tonight, today, this morning, this afternoon, whenever you watch this. Thank you so much from ADS. Mwah. See you next time.